Okay, so we are here today to debate a very interesting, important topic, issue. The protesters, after President Trump was elected for the sixth day now, we have protests happening in America. The question is, though, whose responsibility is it to calm down the protesters? Because as of right now, no one has taken responsibility for that. The blue group of the 11th grade says, well, that should be the responsibility of Hillary Clinton and her main supporter, Obama. But the red group of the 12th grade says, no, that's the responsibility of President-elect Donald Trump. So let's hear their debate. Blue group, red group, come on up to the podium. Okay, in our customary fashion, the blue group of the 11th grade will begin, and you have four minutes. You can start now. Hello, everyone. My name is Lauren. I'm the representative of the blue group 11th grade. Uh, our topic is um, whether Obama and Hillary or Trump should be the ones stopping the protesters. The anti-Trump protests that are going on in America are getting way out of hand. And someone should step up and put a stop to all of the violent hypocrisy. Problem is, we should take that responsibility. Before I get into that, I just want to talk briefly about the peaceful protests that are happening right now. According to what I have seen so far, all the protests that are breaking out are not in any way peaceful. It's acceptable that people feel the need to voice their opinions through protesting. Nothing's wrong with that. Real problem is that what's going on during these protests, people are constantly lighting things on fire, vandalizing schools and property, and even beating up people who support Trump. It's more of a right than a process with. But enough of that, let's talk about the important stuff. Who should put an end to all of the rights occurring in America? Pretty simple, Obama and Hillary. Normally people would expect Trump to do something about it since they're waiting uh, because you don't want him in office. But the problem is he doesn't have the power to actually stop the riots. And why is that? Because he's still not the president. Therefore, he's powerless to do anything at this point. Even if he does, no one would have listened to him since they're debating against him and not for him. Obama, on the other hand, still is capable of doing something about the rights, since he's still the president after all, and he leaves the office, the office of January 20th, so he's still in power, unlike Trump. Whether it be by brute force or working something out with them, he can do something other than just sitting by and letting people unleash hell on the streets of America. Now for Hillary, yes, it's true that she doesn't have any political power to make a difference, but we have to take something into consideration. All the rights that are going on are because of the fact that Hillary lost the presidency. Therefore, if she told all her followers to stop destroying everything in sight, she'd be able to actually do something about it. Of course, this doesn't necessarily mean that if she gives a speech on why, she should, uh, on why they shouldn't fight, her followers will suddenly feel the need to stop doing what they're doing, but a majority of them will most likely stop due to the fact that they are absolutely in love with the country and believe that Hillary would have made it better. So in any way, uh, so in a way, she can kind of stop the rights, and it, but it won't happen right away, right away, but it will stop sooner than expected. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Blue Group of the 11th grade. Gray Group of the 12th grade, you have four minutes. So hello, I'm Regan, and I'm representing the Red Group, and my stance today is why Donald Trump should stop the protests. First of all, Donald Trump should stop it because he's soon to be president, officially president, because Obama's leaving January 20th. And so Obama really doesn't have that much to say right now because he's literally know it to be found right now. He's right now, I think he's in Greek, Greece, Greek, he's in Greece right now, and he's literally not known to be found. He's not in America right now. So first of all, let's talk why Donald Trump should stop the riots and protests that are happening. <clears throat> he should stop because he's the president. He should, he's supposed to be reuniting all people, and when he got nominated, his speech lit was there. He said that he's going to be president of all people, and he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, first of all, everybody thinks Donald Trump is racist and all that. First of all, you got it all wrong. He is not racist. You guys you guys think that Hillary could stop a protest when she can't because she has no power. She issued a statement when he first was saying that that he, he's, he, he's gonna be a fair president and that uh, whatever, if he succeeds, then America succeeds. America has to give him a chance for to see the results, because nobody knows how fair president could be. <clears throat> Obama 
on the other hand, he issued a statement too, saying that if he succeeds, America succeeds. America succeeds. Same thing as Hindi. And um, the the way he uh, Donald Trump should come about this whole thing, he should make a statement saying he's going to be president of all people, all races, all religions, all genders, and how he's he could make America united and he stop the protest. You said half of the people would stop if Hillary issued a statement. She issued a statement and I still see the riots happening. It's up to Donald Trump to come out and make a statement saying that he'll be president of all people, which he did. And I, I've seen a lot of change these last couple of days. The protests have been calming down and, <clears throat> and all that. So I don't know where you're getting your facts or anything, but that's Donald Trump's job. Okay, thank you very much. We're gonna start round two in two minutes. Teams go, I mean, uh, teams go back to your teams. And we're gonna take a small. She changed all her facts. I don't need to touch. Okay, all right, so we're going to uh, begin the second round. Of this a very interesting debate. If I could get the blue group of the 11th grade, the 12th grade, and the red group of the 12th grade, back to the podium, please. God bless. Okay, because the blue group of the 11th grade started last round. This round will be began by the red group of the 12th grade. We have four minutes. You can see. Starting out, uh, you, I think you get this wrong. Uh, this is a debate. This is not an English uh, testing how to read. Because all you did was bring an article and just keep reading it. A debate should have facts that you attack the person in front of you, and the person has to. A rebuttal on this facts. So, if you are going to just get an article online and keep talking about it, keep reading it without doing anything, this is not really called a debate. You're trying to convince the people in front of you. You're not trying to just read something out loud to uh, to show your friends how you can uh, read English. Uh, second thing, Trump is now the one that can stop the rights because he the rights are based upon him he is the one that wants the presidency and he is the one that the people are going outside to write against him. he can go outside and uh, say a speech to basically re uh, relax all of the other uh, writers and like, if they are mexicans if they are um, african americans he can stop all of that by just saying a speech that all your rights are preserved and nothing will happen to you. Plus, uh, yeah, as my colleague said, that uh, Obama right now is doing a press a conference outside of the uh, U.S. He's going to Greece, Germany, then Peru. So he he will be out for some time. 
And Hillary does not have any source of power right now, so how is Hillary or Obama going to stop the rights? Somebody has to stop the rights ASAP, and this has uh, this can't be done by Hillary or Obama. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Red Group of 12th grade. Blue Group of the 11th grade, you have four minutes. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm not here to know the meaning of debate. We're here to talk about whose responsibility is it to calm down the protesters. It should be up to Hillary and Obama to calm down the anti-Trump protesters. If these protesters would listen to anyone, it would either be Hillary or Obama. Clinton could have asked her followers to stop this nonsense, and they would have probably listened to her. Even though, during her speech, she said, we must accept this result and then look to the future. Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and a chance to lead. But that was not enough for protesters to stop. They're still hyped because of her great loss. The Washington Post, New York Times, Fox News, and CBS News reported that in major U.S. cities such as Portland, Washington, L.A., Denver, and even New York, Protesters started gathering on college campuses outside Trump Tower and elsewhere across the country, which have also included burning flags, other violence, and people being shot down. He also said that Trump has all the power to calm down the people, but that was not true. According to Kelly Conway, Trump's former campaign manager, she said that Obama, she said that calm, uh, the, the incumbent of Trump, Hillary and Obama is to calm their supporters and encourage a peaceful transition of power amid anti-Trump demonstrations that have swept U.S. cities since Election Day. Trump is there for them, and he is going to be a president that listens and takes the counsel to many different people, including those from the other side of the aisle. That was what she said to Chuck Todd on NBC's Meet the Press. It's time really for Clinton and Obama to deliver a message to those protesters. This man is our president. And Obama should seriously take this issue into consideration and do something about it, even if he's going to involve in, in military forces. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, have a seat for two minutes at your team tables. We will begin round three in two minutes. Okay, all right, so now we're about to begin the third and final round of this debate between the red group of the 12th grade and the blue group of the 11th grade. If I can get you back to the podium, so let's get started. Okay, in the second round, the red group of the 12th grade began. So this time we're going to have the blue group of the 11th grade begin the last and final round. We have three minutes. You may begin. Okay. Your colleague said that Trump should make a speech and say that he's going to unite everyone. He can't do that since he said that he was going to kick out Mexicans and Muslims out of America and build a wall. He's going to sound like a hypocrite if he made a speech uniting all people. 
can change what you said in the past. Um, and some chunk is powerless to do anything due to the fact that no one will take him seriously. Since they're protesting against him, and uh, since they're protesting against him, they basically want uh, Hillary uh, to win, since there was only like 2,000 differences like, in the votes and stuff. Um, and Obama and Hillary are the ones that can actually play a part in calming down the enraged protesters, because as I said in the beginning, most of these protesters still support Clinton and Obama. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, blue group of the 11th grade. Now we're going to turn our attention to the red group of the 12th grade. You have three minutes. You may begin. All right, well, the first thing I'm going to say is an exact response to what you said for something to your colleagues. And she said she wants to learn in grade four. Unfortunately for her, this isn't the case. It's kind of needs to. All right, and also you mentioned that um, I believe it was they're writing against what Trump said, correct? Yes? Well, you see, if they're writing against what Trump said, then technically it's what Trump says that will calm them down. If Trump were to ease down on what he says, it wouldn't be really a hypocrite because, as you know, no politician actually keeps his word, and they always change. But at least if Trump changed his words and it went more easy on them, it would balance out, and eventually people will be more calm. Something else you mentioned, that these protesters were like, you know, part of Hillary and Obama's mob to like over... Well, you know, right or something. Anyway, while they may support Obama and Hillary, they're not writing for Obama and Hillary. They got some of them are angry that um, you know Trump won, but in the end, what they're really writing about is the fact that um, you know President elect Trump is about to be the president. So really, it all revolves around what's this president policy? What's the, uh, you know president going to do? And that's what they're writing. They're afraid of the results. Some Mexicans think they're going to be deported. Some uh, Muslims think they're going to be deported. If President Trump were to come out, even in Trump Tower, where most protests are going around, and simply explain or ease down or even help negotiate with some of these uh, protesters, it would not only calm down the riots, it would probably improve American uh, safety tremendously. And I'm done. Thank you very much, Blue Group and Red Group of the 11th and 12th grade. Have a seat. All right, very interesting debate. Thank you very much. Now we're going to, all right, so now we're going to have a decision by the viewers as to who won the debate. So we turn it over to you. Oh, my goodness.